So I'm Mitchell Jackson, and uh, my book is The Residue Years. It's about a, a family in Portland, Oregon. The mother is struggling with drug addiction, and the son is uh, he's a, a drug dealer, but he's also the, uh, trying to be the patriarch of his family, so he, uh, he tries to um, hold his family together. It's a mother and two, two young sons, or two brothers. Um, and at the end, you know, um, they end up, uh, it's a hopeful ending, but it's also, I think, a true ending. It's a semi-autobiographical novel. It's, uh, I ended up doing a little time in prison a long time ago now. It's almost 15 years. And uh, it, it actually kind of uh, started in prison. This story started in prison. And it's a really uh, important novel for me. I'm from Portland, Oregon. And, uh, you know, if you think Portland, Oregon, you always think Powell's books. I remember when I started graduate school, I used to go in there and browse the book section. Uh, I would go to uh, author events and sit in the, in the crowd. And uh, I didn't really imagine being an author at that point. I just, I loved to read and I loved that experience because I was so different from uh, how I was raised. But, uh, you know, Powell's books is definitely an influence on me. Well, two books that I always go back to, one of them is uh, Juno Diaz's Drown. And another book is uh, Dennis Johnson's um, Jesus and Son. Those, are, those might be my two favorite story collections. And then uh, the book that made me want to be a writer is James Baldwin's Go Tell on the Mountain, so I would give them those three.